Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Morning News Bulletin on Monday. Celtic kept the gap between themselves and Rangers at 13 points after an impressive second half display against Kilmarnock and the Matunil victory. It was a tense as it was goalless at half time, but goals from Moy El Yunusi and Shane Duffy secured the three points and handed manager Neil Lennon a selection dilemma for Sunday's Scottish Cup final. Giving me options, you know, but I think, you know, I'd like to be. You know, I like to think about the boys that got us there as well, you know, so we can't just write them off, but the lads who have come in have done a terrific job. Killy boss Alex Dyer branded the game a missed opportunity, and as Rudis side's second half display, stating some of his players thought they'd done their jobs in the first 45. Especially when you come to places like this, you've got to be on it from the first minute to the last, and we were. We did well first half, contained them, we were all right first half, and second half we didn't come out. And we didn't do anything, we could have been 3-4 down in the first 10 minutes. So Rangers were also victorious, this time 2-1 against Dundee United, with defenders James Tavernay and Connor Goldson on the score sheet again. A ground out win pleased boss Steven Gerrard, but it could have been more, were it not for several missed chances by Alfredo Morelos. Some fans believe that the Colombian could have seen red for a first half challenge, but Gerrard disagreed. I didn't see an elbow. Go if you look at it again, there's no elbow there. Um, the referee's seen it, dealt with it. It was a foul, it was a foul, and it was a yellow card and it's being dealt with. But if you look at it again, next time you see it, you'll say it wasn't an elbow. And Hibs continued their impressive form with a stunning 4 0 win at Hamilton, which briefly saw them go second. Jack Ross's side are back in third now, but they can pride themselves on their display. Here's what they had to say. I believe that we've you know, changed a little bit of our staffing group, and we've got just a, a group of staffing players that, that get on very well, and I think I've got a real common goal this season, and that I think is. It's been reflected in our performances. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels where you'll also find the football shows Peter and Ruffy. It's on every night at 4 o'clock and they discuss all today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.